Hello, Phil Morris here, the Time of Time Photographer, and I have a quick tip on doing selective coloring, and I want to show you two different ways of doing this, one in Lightroom and one in uh, Photoshop. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a virtual copy, which I've already done, but I, I want to go ahead and make another virtual copy of this image. And what we've got to do here is go into the develop module and decide how we want to desaturate this. Now there's several different ways of doing it and what we're going to do is we're going to take our adjustment brush and I like using uh, my adjustment brush at an exposure of plus four whenever I start a uh, a brush setting because I can very very easily see where that brush is and I don't have to flop back and forth between different uh, modes and I can just paint and paint and paint and you can see that this is coming in very nicely what I want to do is I want to cover all the space around the bride, get in close, and there's several different effects that we can do here once we get the mask set up. And in fact, this is kind of an interesting effect as is if you want to get a, a really grungy look we can change the exposure so it's dark or, or whatever. Now we've got some pretty decent coverage but what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off the auto mask and I've got my uh, brush really large and this will allow us to get these surrounding areas and just really really coat them so that they uh, are, aren't uh, picking up any of that contrast in there. And we turn the auto mask back on and make sure that we get in really, really close. Get the look in here. All right. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and bring our exposure back down to normal and then we're going to reduce the saturation. Now if we completely desaturate it you're still going to pick up some areas where we've got the uh, various uh, colors in here and we can paint a little more but in this case I don't necessarily want it to be completely desaturated. What I want to do is I want to bring it down a little bit so that the bride stands out more and I want to reduce the contrast and you can lower the brightness a little bit so now it looks really natural but she has a tendency to truly pop out of the image and this is with just a single adjustment brush let's go ahead and close that now what I want to do is I want to go ahead and I want to open my other virtual copy and uh, Photoshop but I want to open it as a smart object and that's because I like to be able to come back and make adjustments uh, from time to time just in case I have uh, a new idea that I want to work on and here we are opened up in Photoshop and right off the the start what I'm going to do is I want to duplicate this layer but what I want to do is I want to do a new smart object via copy that way I have two completely separate versions of this and I can edit them individually. Now the bottom one is the one that we uh, have already done all of our adjustments for the bride. Now the top one what I want to do is I want to go ahead and open this up again and it's going to load it into Camera Raw. And here it is in Camera Raw. 
and here it is in camera while and what we can do is we can go ahead and start making all of our adjustments now let's go ahead and go to the uh, HSL grayscale and we'll convert it to grayscale now I'm not worried about what the bride looks like in this case what I want to do is I want to figure out what I want the background to look like and I know there's a lot of yellows in here and what I want to do is I want to bring up some of those yellows uh, so that they have a little more contrast in them but uh, some of this other uh, areas around the door and stuff I want to mute out a bit so I'm going to pull up the yellows Uh, yeah, pull them up and then I want to pull down the oranges a little more. So now I've got a little bit more of a grunge look and the uh, reds uh, that's probably pretty decent for the reds. There's really no green or any other colors in here. You know, I can adjust that and I'm not picking up much of anything. Yeah, you see blue in the dress. And now I've got this nice, uh, let's see, let's put the yellows there. Yeah, oranges a little bit more. All right, so now we've got two versions of this. The uh, top one is our grayscale version. The bottom one is our original color version. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a layer mask. And I'm going to select my bride. And I'm just going to use the uh, quick mask tool here. You can spend a lot of time masking and getting things looking absolutely perfect. But in some cases, all you need is just a, a quick pass. I want to hold down the, the option key to paint that back. Alrighty bring that back up to the top layer and what I was doing was the uh, command bracket uh, to move the layer up and down now what I'm going to do is I'm going to refine the edge and generally uh, you may want to expand or contract the edge uh, if you do a, quite a bit you, you can tell if it's going to help you or not In this case, contract. I'm going to feather it, soften up around the edges a little bit. Hit OK. And then what I'm going to do with it selected on the layer, I want to fill it with black. And then our bride pops right on out. Now, the other uh, nice thing that you can do with this is even though uh, we uh, have it as a true grayscale, we can just go ahead and select the whole layer here and lower the opacity and bring back some of that color in there to, to achieve a similar effect as what we did in Lightroom. And of course you can see here I've got a few spots that I missed but since it's a, a layer mask I can come in here zoom in let me scale this so you can see it on the screen come in with black make a smaller brush and I can fix that up real quick and easy right there and there. So there you have it. Two different ways of bringing out a, a color, not necessarily from a true 
uh, grayscale black and white image, but uh, you know having the colors behind being a little more muted. My name is Phil Morris, the Time and Time Photographer. Thank you for watching and listening.